Hey everyone, Kyle here from Poseidon's Pets. So I got a short video for you guys today. This is kind of like a midweek video for you. Uh, I was having deaths in my orange eye blue tiger tank. I was having deaths in my coal tank. So what I think the culprit was is unwashed hands. So I think I had something on my hands, whether that was deodorant, cologne. I think something got into my tanks and was starting to just drop my shrimp like flies. I lost five shrimp in each tank the first day and then was starting to lose shrimp, you know, every hour almost in those tanks. So I knew something was happening. I didn't think it had to do with water changes or anything like that. Just simply because I did water changes in all of my tanks and there was only two tanks that I was having issues with. So that led me to believe that there's some type of contaminant in the tank and I believe that my fast acting and my you know quick wit is what saved these tanks from just completely wiping and being decimated because it, I could have done another water change but that could have caused more problems because if it was the water change that caused the issues then it's only going to combat or add to the problem so what I did was this I created a carbon filter out of activated carbon. This is the carbon that I used. So I simply used the Magitarium Activated Carbon, which is the Petco brand, I believe, of carbon. And any activated carbon would do. If I had Aquachar on hand, that would have been a better option because then I could have just tossed it in the tank. With activated carbon, you need the surface area, the water to flow through it. So I had to create a filter and I'm going to show you guys that filter. But if you want to see a full step by step, like breakdown of how I did it, I did a short or a TikTok on my TikTok channel, as well as my YouTube page. I posted a short about it so you can go see the full build there. But this is what I did. I put it in the orange eye blue tiger tank for uh, about half a day. And then I started seeing deaths in my coal tank. As soon as I saw the deaths in the coal tank, I was like, no, uh, I love you orange eye blue tigers, but I've got some really nice shrimp in that coal tank and I instantly moved it into the coal tank so that way I can save those shrimp. Luckily, everything has been good. I have been very careful as to not jinx myself as far as saying like it's all fixed. But as of right now, everything is good. Go ahead and knock on some wood. I'm hoping that you know everything works out. I'm not going to jinx myself. Everything worked. Everything is fine. <laughs> but check out what I did. Check out this filter. So I grabbed an extra air pump that I had. Don't mind the mess in the shrimp room. Like I said, this is a midweek video. I usually clean before I do my videos, but hooked that up to the tank and I created this carbon filter. So this filter is what saved my shrimp. This filter right here is what saved my coal tank. It's what saved my orange eye blue tigers. And you know, the shrimp are active. The shrimp are happy. They have been happy and active from the start, but adding this filter has made sure that I haven't had any other issues. And you can see that there's still babies in the tank. So I caught it just in time. I did have a few deaths in this tank, like I said, but with that little filter, it's just sucking the water in and filtering it. It's taking out any contaminants that are in this tank. And I was a little concerned when I saw this at first, but I promise that's a pellet. That is not a, not a dead shrimp in there. We're gonna go ahead and double check right now though. Good time to show you my uh, supplies I have. So all my tools I've got on the rack here. Sharpie for marking the tanks as well as magnets for the tweezers. So simply pull those off, ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna go ahead and just double check. We're gonna make sure that this is the pellet that I put in there and that this is not a dead shrimp. Lo and behold, there's a pellet, no dead shrimp. Everything's good. Now, one thing that I noticed that kind of gave it away was there was small little bubbles on the top of the tank in the corners. So I don't see it anymore. Let's see if the orange eye blue tiger tank has it, but there was bubbles on top. Yep, so you can still see them here. 
So you see those little bubbles on the floaters? And that to me was a dead sign, a dead giveaway that there's either a protein buildup from dead shrimp, overfeeding, or you know there was a contaminant in the tank. So I had three tanks that had the bubbles, which was the orange eye blue tiger and my tangerine tigers, which tangerine tigers are absolute beasts. Nothing happened to them. Uh, I had one death, so there was one death in there, but now it's, you know, this tank might've gotten like the, the least amount of the contaminant, whatever it may have been, but all the shrimp are doing good. You know, massive swarms on the food. Everybody's happy. But like I said, just a short midweek video. Uh, short videos usually tend to, you know, go a little bit longer because I start to ramble, but that's it. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. You know, follow me, hit the like, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and if you've had similar experiences and been able to save your shrimp. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, 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 bye.